This video shows how to fix your HP Envy 7640, OfficeJet 5740, or OfficeJet 8040 e all-in-one printer when a paper jam error message displays on the printer control panel. When an error message appears on the printer control panel, check the printer for paper jams. Turning the printer off and then on again can clear a false paper jam message. Press the power button to turn off the printer. If the printer does not turn off, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer and wait 60 seconds. Reconnect the power cord to the printer. Then press the power button to turn the printer back on. Print a printer status report. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load plain white paper into the input tray. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. On the printer control panel, swipe the display to the left and then touch the setup icon. Swipe the display up to show more menu options and then touch reports. Touch printer status report. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. Clear any jam paper from the output or input tray or from inside the printer. First, remove any jam paper from behind the output tray. Make sure that the tray extender is closed. Grasp the output tray by the sides and then pull the output tray toward you to remove it from the printer. Look inside the printer and check the rollers for any paper. Gently remove any paper from the output rollers. To replace the output tray, slide the output tray back onto the input tray. Next, check for jam paper behind the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Grasp the output tray by the sides and then pull the output tray toward you to remove it from the printer. Grasp the handle on the input tray and then pull the input tray toward you to open it. Remove any paper from the input tray or any paper that blocks the photo tray. Turn the printer onto its right side so that you can access the bottom of the printer. Check the gap on the bottom of the printer for jammed paper. Grasp any paper with both hands and then pull the paper slowly but firmly toward you to remove it. Gently remove any torn paper. Turn the printer over to its normal upright position. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load plain white paper into the input tray. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Slide the input tray into the printer. Slide the output tray back onto the input tray. Now remove any jammed paper from the paper path and cartridge access area. Press the power button to turn off the printer and then disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Disconnect any USB or Ethernet cables from the back of the printer. Open the cartridge access door. Remove any paper or foreign objects from the carriage path. Find the paper path cover, grasp the handle, and then lift up to remove the cover. Remove any paper from the rollers and wheels. Replace the paper path cover. Press until it clicks into place. Close the cartridge access door. 
The door is securely closed when the door open message clears and the home screen displays on the printer control panel. Clear any jam paper from the automatic document feeder or ADF and the ADF rollers on the scanner lid. If you are not using the ADF, continue to the next step. Lift the ADF cover. Pull down the ADF mechanism. Gently pull out any paper from the ADF. To avoid tearing any whole sheets of paper, pull the paper with both hands. Push the ADF mechanism up into the ADF cover until it locks into place. Close the ADF cover. Open the scanner lid. Gently pull out any paper from the rollers on the bottom of the scanner lid. Close the scanner lid. Finally, make sure the printer is placed on a flat surface that is clear of any obstructions. Remove any paper, small objects, or fabrics from under the printer. Press the power button to turn on the printer. To see if the issue has been resolved, print a printer status report. On the printer control panel, swipe the display to the left and then touch the setup icon. Swipe the display up to show more menu options and then touch reports. Touch printer status report. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. Cleaning the rollers will remove any dust, paper fiber, and other debris that can cause paper jams. To clean the paper feed rollers, you will need long, lint-free cotton swabs, a clean, lint-free cloth, and distilled, filtered, or bottled water. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Open the cartridge access door. Find the paper path cover, grasp the handle, and then lift up to remove it. Lightly dampen the swab with the water, and then squeeze any excess liquid from the swab. Press the swab against the rollers inside the printer, and then rotate the rollers upwards with your fingers. Apply enough pressure to remove any dust or dirt buildup. Replace the paper path cover and then close the cartridge access door. Pull open the input tray. Turn the printer onto its right side so that you can access the bottom of the printer. Clean the rollers in the gap behind the input tray. Make sure that none of the rollers are missing, that they turn easily, and that they are springy when you press them. Turn the printer over to its normal position. Allow the rollers to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. If you are trying to copy or fax a document, and the document does not feed into the ADF, Clean the ADF rollers and the separator pad. If you are not using the ADF, continue to the next step. Lift the top cover of the ADF. Pull down the ADF mechanism. Lightly dampen the cloth with water and then squeeze any excess liquid from the cloth. Press the cloth against the rollers, and then rotate them upward with your fingers. Apply enough pressure to remove any dust or dirt buildup. Allow the rollers to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Close the ADF cover. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. 
and then press the power button to turn on the printer. To see if the issue has been resolved, print a printer status report. On the printer control panel, swipe the display to the left and then touch the setup icon. Swipe the display up to show more menu options and then touch reports. Touch printer status report. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. Sometimes a paper jam error appears, even though there is no jam paper. Reset the printer to clear a false paper jam error. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Wait until the printer completes startup before continuing. With the printer turned on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from the wall outlet and wait at least 60 seconds. Plug the power cord back into the wall outlet. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Wait until the printer completes startup before continuing. To see if the issue has been resolved, print a printer status report. On the printer control panel, swipe the display to the left and then touch the setup icon. Swipe the display up to show more menu options and then touch reports. Touch printer status report. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. If you have completed all the steps and are still experiencing issues, the printer might need to be serviced. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out the support options for your printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash HP Printer Support.